Hi, I'm Ed Hyland, and this is the MDNM West News Desk. I'm joined now by Tarek Abalas, who's the Commercial Director of Materials and Compounding for Biomerics. Thanks so much for coming by. Yeah, thanks, Ed, for having me today. Tarek, tell us a little bit about uh, the overall capabilities as a materials provider uh, that uh, biometrics and medtech sector, what you provide for them? So biomerics is a vertically integrated contract med uh, medical manufacturer in the attractive interventional device marketplace. What that means is we're completely integrated, going all the way from concept, all the way through to commercialization of a product, and even through regulatory and all the pieces and parts that go with it. And the materials sector is just one component of that. It's one of our centers of excellence. So what we offer is a range of medical grade polyurethane and polymer compounding services to help integrate into medical device development for our customers. Tell us a little bit about the uh, foundational space for Biomerics. Uh, it's a product and it's serving the needs of the medtech sector today and how it's gonna work in the future. So Biomerics started in 1993 as an injection molding operations in Salt Lake City, Utah. We've had the same founder and CEO the entire time. So and in that time we've grown really We've addition to having our injection molding capabilities, we rebranded as Biomerics in 2009. We launched a medical urethane line to support the injection molding, but then we started adding along another, uh, a number of capabilities to go further along the vertical integration. So now our customers can come to us whether they want a material, whether they want to design a catheter, whether they need help injection molding, whether they need help extruding, making balloons, really anything in the attractive interventional device marketplace, Biomerics has a solution to help them. Well, let's talk about uh, Quadra. Tell yeah. us about it, what is it, and how is it gonna work for us? So Quadra is a trade name for us. It's, it encompasses our full line of internally developed and manufactured medical grade polyurethanes. So in the marketplace, Quadra, as a, as a generic catch-all term, really encompasses nine different products. So I'll go through one in order. So we'll start with Quadra Flex, which is a poly, uh, medical grade polyether technology. We offer it in aliphatic or aromatic versions. Uh, we can compound it. We have it in solution form and film casting and a number of different ways of processing available for our customers. Next, we have Quadra Thane, which is our polycarbonate technology. Again, also offered in an aliphatic version and an aromatic version. Uh, you know, the same kind of idea. We have injection molding versions. We offer solution grade versions of this material. We can offer a number of different processing pieces to help move that material forward into a medical device. In addition to those four products, we have a product called Quadracil, where we actually combine a polycarbonate or a polyether with silicone technology. The added benefit of those products is that these products tend to last in the body longer, a little bit more durable. So you have the durability of the silicone, with the tenacity of polyurethane. It's really a perfect blend for long-term biocompatible applications. And Quadracil, we offer that in polycarbonate or polyether copolymer chemistries. We also offer a product called Quadrophilic, which is our answer to help with drug illusion. So the idea behind Quadrophilic is you have a polyether technology that actually can uptake water when it's inside the body. Now, what the difference between other things that can uptake water in the body is that while it's uptaking water, it can push out things like active pharmaceutical ingredients. So think of coating on a stent or thinking of a rod that goes in the body. Those are types of applications for quadrophilic. Finally, we have, oh, we have quadraban as well, which is a catch-all term for our antimicrobial line of additives that we can put into any of our polyurethanes. So quadraban, we don't sell it as a product quadraban, we'll incorporate those uh, antimicrobial properties into a quadrothane Quadra, uh, uh, the Quadraflex, Quadracil. Finally, we have a product called Quadraplast, which is our aromatic rigid polyurethane. These things are really tough. They're not really meant for implantable. These are meant for things like lure locks and connectors, the hard plastics that are outside of the body that really take a, a really good, a lot of work from our providers to work with when they're operating with patients on a daily basis. That's uh, quite a toolbox. It <laughs> sure is, yeah. Or a medical kit, I guess is the case may be. Tell us a little bit more about your uh, compounding capabilities. So. Due to the fact that we can do custom formulations of any of our Quadra products, so we control our manufacturing all the way back to the raw material, our custom compounding services is really rooted in that. We have a team of three, or three engineers, two scientists on top of it, who have excellent capability and material expertise to help categorize, test, and create custom polymers for our customers. So as opposed to some of the competition that's out there where there's a finite number of options that are there, Biomerics has the ability to any of our polymers go from you know, 70A all the way to 75D, a general rule. And on top of that, we can make custom chemistries inside of that for our customers. 
It, it's a big field. Why should people come to Biomerics? Yeah. So Biomerics, as being a fully vertically integrated uh, medical device contract manufacturer, has a number of different advantages. When customers come to us and talk about materials, one of the most common things they'll ask of us is, how do I process it? How do I make a solution out of this? I'm having trouble with extrusion and gel formation. You know, these type of technical questions, we offer a lot of technical expertise to, to help support our customers. But in the event that they wanted help with an extrusion partner, well, they work with us. We don't have to go to a third party and go from there. We can put an extrusion uh, specialist on the line with this customer. We can put an injection molding specialist and a balloon specialist on the line. And now, not only are we offering material expertise from a chemistry perspective, but now as we carry that product through, we now have processing engineering experts to help make that product and actually commercialize with it as well. It truly is an interesting offering and bring one that really brings value to our customers. So, so is it fair to say, I mean, you're literally customizing it for each customer and their needs? Uh, yes and no. So customize, so we do offer a number of different common things in the marketplace that are shared by many customers of very commonly used medical grade urethanes things like polycarbonates and polyethers. When we talk about customization, this is where our compounding comes into play. We can either manipulate the chemistry, for example, if you want to make solutions, or we can compound these materials with radio pacifiers, colorants, and additives to make a truly customized polymer in pellet form or solution form for our customers. Tell us a little bit more about, uh, and it sounds like you already started in that direction, talking about innovating, innovating uh, for, for now for your customers. Yeah, so for our customers right now, we typically will handle requests and they'll say, you know, they feel like they're bound by the constraints of what they've known in the marketplace before. So as material experts, as we like to brand ourselves as, it's truly a unique thing to go to a customer and say, have you thought about doing this? Have you thought about this chemistry application? Have you thought about manipulating this end group and you know, working on different, you know, you know, changing the concentration of different parts of the material to create a custom polymer? As I mentioned earlier, a lot of the medical device, pop, medical device polyurethane manufacturers out there have product X, product Y, and product Z. What we offer at Biomerics is a lot different is inside of that, the widest range of capabilities to manipulate that polymer for our customers, followed by a full regulatory background, full quality control measures, and really all the pieces and accoutrement that we need to help our customers innovate. So you've got the whole alphabet, not just X, Y, and Z. <laughs> well, you know, I wish, you know, we, we like to think that way, right? So if there's a capability we don't currently have with processing, we have a network of third parties that we do work with. And if it's something that's attractive for us to bring in-house and make it our own, we always have the appetite to do those type of things as well. All right, Tarek, other than Quadra, what other types of uh, materials are, are you really known for? So Biomerics has the exclusive manufacturing rights for a product called Elastion. Elastion has been known for almost 20 years now for its long-term biostability in a number of different long-term implantable applications. As the manufacturing partner, and we really are a partner with Rua Biomedical to bring Elastion to market. Not only do we manufacture it, but we also have the polymer expertise, and we have one of the original scientists who worked for us to help customize that product to meet the needs of our customer base. Dark, thank you so much for coming by and sharing everything about Biomerics. Thank you so much for having me today, Ed. And this is the MDNM News Desk. I'm Ed Hyland.